We started our conversation today talking about IBM. We're going to end our conversation talking about IBM. And uh, I saw the news of IBM's acquisition of Boxboat Technologies. And, you know, I know that this is connected to all things Kindrel. And um, so uh, talk with us a little bit about that, Stephen. I know you've got a, an article in development, a research note in development on that. So let's let's hear a little bit what you're thinking in terms of IBM strategy here and uh, what's going on. Well, I think what's interesting here is, you know, IBM's put the press release out today, you know, whilst it's not interesting in of itself that IBM acquires a 47-person services company, Right. I think what is interesting is if you piece together some of the some of the other news, they've made a couple of similar acquisitions um, of this type of scale, yeah, um, to bolster out this services business within what will be left as IBM. So IBM services business today is split into GTS and GBS. Right. The GTS business is going to form Kindrel. Right. So I think what IBM is doing here is positioning itself for post that divestiture. And it's going to be really interesting to see what IBM services looks like once the big part of IBM services goes over to Kindrel. And I think what's going to be left and where IBM is going to be strategically focused, and, and this is what I put in my research note, is they're going to be strategically and purposefully focused in on the hybrid cloud space, right. particularly from a technology stack around Kubernetes and containerization. And I think the box boat acquisition gives you an indication of what the focus area is going to be for IBM services post the Kindrel move. So whilst it's not significant in size or scale, it's directionally important for important and, and and this is what i covered in the note i think it's directionally important because it, it gives you a hint of what ibm service is going to look like maybe september october time right. um so I, I think that's if you piece together the the sort of noises that ibm's making they're going to be a very focused services organization on hybrid cloud transformation and specifically containers and kubernetes going forward yeah, absolutely. And I think that, you know, we see this across the board, really from all of our clients in this space, the technology is an important part of the equation, whatever technology it is they're buying, but that services part of the equation is equally as important. And it's also where a lot of the revenue comes from. Yeah, you know, in the so, IBM in the IBM press release, they they define that part of the market purely from a services point of view as a two hundred billion dollar market that exactly. they want to go after. So, <laughs> you know, I think there's some hint. You have to kind of read between the lines in the right. press release and be very right. close to IBM to see direct. You know, to there's a lot they're not saying in right. the press release that if you're close to them, and that's what we're here for to provide the analysis and just not report the news. Um, you can see the direction where IBM's heading and start to get some early headlights. Yeah, absolutely. It makes perfect sense, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. Sense. They've, got, they've got a bridge between OpenShift and some of the product pieces to be in a strategy and advisor and implementation job as some of their clients make this transformation to hybrid cloud. Right. That makes perfect sense to me. Mm-hmm.